welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today we are outside of my current base of Sanctuary, which is almost complete, thankfully. But anyway, for the current, uh, for the moment, anyway, I have actually been able to get twenty-four, no, twenty. Hello, Curie, <laughs> always walking in at the right moment. That's lovely. Anyway. I think it was 23 settlers in this place, where the max is 20, I have no idea how it happened. They're not companions or anything like that, I have one area where they all go and live, but very strange. So anyway, we're going to do this little tour of my current, almost ready to finish base. Well, it's not ready to fit. it's not fully finished yet, I want to really flesh it out and get it really looking nice like it's an actual sea. So anyway, let's go with the tour anyway. And I have moved up a secondary gate. Because raiders keep coming out through the houses and using them as cover, so now they come right up to the front door and get, well, mowed down either way. But we have the little internal courtyard for the security troops, which are all stationed here. No power in these buildings. I don't know if I will be putting power in these buildings, but, uh, you know, who knows. But anyway, here's the main gate. We're coming up right now into... It's early morning in the game right now, but... Anyway, over here, I want to go over here real quickly. This is the town armory slash power armor depot for the security units. So on the right here, we have three sets of T-60 military power armor. And a whole crap load more over here. I think we literally have one more space till I finish with the T-60 series of supplying my troops with them. Anyway. Yeah, this is it. Like this, uh, I showed you these boxes. Like, uh, not too many heavy weapons. Lots of grenades and mines, lots of sniper rifles and different kinds, different melee weapons, some machine guns, different uh, all you know, different shotguns, all these different pistols here, a lot of these pistols, lots of different assault and combat rifles as well. Uh, not many plasma weaponry. Lots of laser rifles and pistols and laser muskets. And lots of well, what's left of the Institute weapons anyway. Which I might be handing out to some specialized troops of the town. But anyway, we're going to move through and see if there any movement at the moment. Up, oh, we have a scavenger up ahead. Who will be giving a, who will be given a uniform later on in the video. Not in the video, but later on when I finish this video. He's going to be acting as the town security force, which is good. There's Sturgis pretending to be a, tra a traitor. Nice job, Sturgis. But over here, we have these little trading caravan posts right now, outposts, which are quite cool. And they bring all the unique uh, traders to your town. And you can start like trading there, getting all the unique weapons that you want, so on and so forth. There's Carla still not sitting at the post there, but anyway. We have his caravan guards. I mean, all the houses are still powered. Oh, but that skeleton freaked me out for a second. Um, anyway, this building here, with the flag on it and the power, blah, 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 blah. I've actually downgraded the artillery range to one due to I was running out of people, so I needed one more person to help with the security at the front gate. So we have only one artillery piece here in Sanctuary City. Keeps the people happy. He's just standing here enjoying himself. Pipe pistol out. But anyway. This building here is my workshop for power armor. Oh, well, before we continue on, here's the mor uh, memorial uh, memorial for the uh, Minutemen. Oh, Curie. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, here's the memorial for the Minutemen that I built a while back. And I, I think it looks great. I'm really pleased with it. Over there is my home slash uh, the command center for the Minutemen army. And, uh, right, we're going to go in here. Oh, no, we can't go in here. I'm sorry. We have to stay out. Just kidding. Anyway, we're going to open here. I haven't gotten much done, per se, for most of the armors. I have one more armor to go for the T60 series, which will be the last one supplied to this outpost, like the city. These two other suits of T60s will be moving on to different positions to help flesh out and fill up the other armories and my little mini outposts and so on. This is mine. I'm keeping this. This is T51B. I found a full set of it. It's military paint color. I like it. Anyway, and then we have another T-51 over there, T-45, Minutemen, two X-01s. Technically, I have three, but the other one's in my home right now, but we won't be going over there just yet. All right, most of the traders haven't gotten... Oh, well, two of them have. This one loves walking into this door for some reason. Great, great coding. 
Just kidding, yeah. You know, there's always going to be a bit, a few weird moments with traders and stuff like that. But anyway, if we hop in here. This is the full out, fleshed out bar that I built for my settlers, which they all actually come in here and use and sit down and drink and eat, smoke cigarettes. You know, it's quite cool. Anyway, uh, if we come over here, there's more Brahmin heads. We just have a little balcony out here where we can look at the beautiful, beautiful landscape. I thought there was a deck claw over there, it was just the trees moving. Anyway, oh, Kiri just popped right there. That's great. Popped in. Anyway, let's continue on to my house and we have tree traders here right now which is quite cool it's kind of handy quite nice with the clinic we have the general trader and then we have a clothing trader but anyway let's head into my home which is counts as an office slash mini appeal uh, uh, like mini clothing armor armory I keep the weapons and the clothing separate because it's much easier to go through in the long run everything has a category like fatigues different kind of hats all that stuff, the Brotherhood kind of stuff, and the, and the Institute actually as well. A little spoiler, clean rune suits, watch out. Lots of uh, different kind of, um, you know, just different uh, uniforms and gear. More uniforms and armor here. You know, just to flesh it out and try to make it look nice. Does anything in these? Oh yeah, some unique armors are in there. My kitchen. Oh, sorry, apologies. Uh, it's quite late over here during this video. But anyway, here's the third set of XO1 armor, which I love. It's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to take that out just in case someone runs up here and takes it. But anyway, yeah, I'm connected to all power. The wiring is hell in this place. It's very hard to wire. I'm not very good at it still just yet, but I'm enjoying it. And uh, right, we come up here to the roof. Uh, it, <laughs> originally, this this recruitment beacon kept everything powered in my house, so I had to wire it this way. I kind of it's nice. I like the effect of it. It's quite cool. But anyway, we're gonna look over the over everything right now. Like my little small city is growing, thankfully. I use the foundation walls as the main ones. Oh yes, I've expanded over here as well to try build more crop, uh, more proper crop area. Which would be quite helpful to get some food and supplies out to the rest of my settlements, which only have mini farms that keep their population afloat. But anyway, oh, pardon me. Now there's the bobblehead bobblehead collection. Lots and lots of my comic books here on display. But anyway, uh, everything's here, pretty much sorted out. Uh, so far, I've been messing around with the game, and I'm gonna give it an honest review during the week. Which is just me talking about the game, its story, and so on and so forth. But, you know, mainly this video is for the tour only. Uh, is that a new trader that popped in? No, no, it's still the armor trader. I like it though, it's like Brahmins, like, drinking out of the bathtub and relaxing. And there's my Brahmin over there, drinking out of the bathtub. <laughs> he wants more. Carla just does not want to sit down. You're getting a new uniform and weapon. You're going to be dressed as a Nobody security force inside the interior. Right here. Ah, oh, there's one of our interior officers. Not him. That's Sturges. He's just strolling about. I actually can't command him anymore, which is really strange. Anyway, we come over here. We're gonna see Marcy, and then we see her husband. I think. Yep, John. Patrolling and uh, keeping an eye on everything and scavenging, which is quite nice. Um, right, we come up here. Later on during the, the, this time, I'm going to be setting up more guard outposts. So a lot of, uh, most of the guards will run off and uh, start patrolling the town and then head to these outposts for a little bit and guard them. But this is really good. I'm enjoying this I'm, I'm enjoying this game way too much, to be honest. Like all the lights and the, the power and everything like that. Resources, uh, you know, I literally had to bid and like not use any resources for so long to get most of this concrete, which is pretty good. Marcy just hammering away fixing that house nice job Marcy they do that a lot like I would love to actually see if the house would be repaired properly but oh well you know I have to wait maybe updates but anyway we're gonna come back to the front uh, the main gate to into Sanctuary City which is right here and yeah this is pretty much it I'm still working on it I'm gonna have a full-fledged town soon and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, watching, uh, seeing my base and its uh, operations and how it's all working out. 
and I will see you guys next time on the next episodes of RTC with more news, updates, and everything else I do on this show as much as possible.